This video is produced by Walk-In Weight Loss, a nationally recognized weight loss service. For information about how you can benefit from our weight loss services, go to walkinweightloss.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Warren Willey of Physicians Immediate Care and Walk-In Weight Loss Program, a nationally recognized physician-directed program to help people lose weight. Um, I'm here today to talk about insulin and fat loss. We're going to talk about a number of different things quickly today of the power of insulin, both to build muscle and burn fat, but it's important to review why we teach people how to eat and not necessarily what to eat. All the things we discuss with food timing, eating a large breakfast, eating more frequently throughout the day, eating smaller meals as the day goes on, and cutting your carbohydrates out early are going to be descri described in more detail in this short presentation. Let's first start uh, reviewing, by reviewing why we have an obesity epidemic in our country. Insulin is a very fat-promoting hormone, and if people eat like this graph indicates, each little spike being a snack, a meal, the largest meal being at dinner time, high carbohydrate-induced food, it causes insulin to stay elevated. Well, as you see down at the bottom of the slide, the magic line of fat loss, it is impossible to burn fat, to lose the fat on your body if you keep insulin elevated with carbohydrates. Hydrates. That is why we teach people how to eat like this. We want your biggest meal to be in the morning, breakfast, when you first wake up. Eat smaller, more frequent meals. Cut down the size of your meals, and most importantly, cut out the active carbohydrates by late afternoon. Active carbohydrates are also called high glycemic carbohydrates, impact carbohydrates. They include breads, pastas, cereals, pops, juices, and anything else that contains sugar or anything that will cause insulin to spike. We want insulin surge to follow this graph. We want to spike it early in the morning. That's a very growth or muscle producing uh, action. If you spike insulin early with a good sized breakfast, and again, that's why we encourage normal foods, cereal, a bagel, some eggs, some bacon, uh, some uh, waffles, pancakes, you name it. You can have a pretty normal breakfast, but you want insulin to spike early. As the day goes through, you want insulin to go down. So you cut out those active carbohydrates I discussed earlier. You get your insulin under that magic line of fat loss and you start burning fat the rest of the day. If you repeat this process, get up in the morning, spike your insulin, build muscle, and then throughout the day and into the evening and, and more importantly overnight, you become a fat burning machine. It's absolutely amazing how simple this process is. Let's talk a little more about insulin if we may. Insulin is a powerful hormone. Uh, many of you have heard me speak in the past about one of the most abused drugs in professional sports. I first recognized it back in 1997 in an article uh, for in the Physicians in Sports Medicine in October of that year discussing how I was seeing professional athletes I was working with utilizing insulin. Why? Because insulin is a very powerful growth promoting process. It causes protein synthesis. It causes muscles to grow. It also causes glycogen synthesis. Synthesis. Those are the storage uh, cells in the muscle that hold sugar for energy. That and glucose uptake are both very anabolic processes in themselves. So insulin's ability to shove sugar and nutrients into the muscle, increase protein synthesis, and store glycogen are all muscle promoting activities. Insulin also prevents fat burning and that's one of the most important things for people I work with with weight loss. If you keep insulin elevated throughout the day and don't follow the style of eating we encourage you to do, you never get into fat burning. Fat burning does not occur when insulin's present. That's what the word lipolysis means. It prevents fat burning. Insulin also stops proteolysis. In other words, the breakdown of protein. So it, insulin is very important and that's why we have you spike it early in the morning Morning, but you cannot and will not burn fat later in the day unless you cut out those active carbohydrates. That is why we encourage people how to eat, not necessarily what to eat. Are you tired of yo-yo dieting? Are you looking for a weight loss solution that's permanent, one that meets your individual needs? If so, go to walkinweightloss.com or ask your physician about starting a walk-in weight loss program today.